sure what's going on. We're here at the Gathering 2022 here in uh, South Carolina in the Taurus Rossi Heritage booth. Going to check out a cool little pump action 22 in just a second. Before we do that, got a friend of the channel. Get over here, Cody. Man, you doing all right? So uh, here is Cody. You may have, right. you may recognize Cody know, as, right? as the guy from Walther, but uh, yeah, not anymore. Yeah, I'm here now. Yeah, so a new uh, marketing director for Taurus Rossi and Heritage. How you liking it so far? I actually yeah. love it. It's like and the first week for you, isn't it? it? Is, yeah, literally the first week. Wow. So yeah, I mean, you know, when you know Brett is the CEO, who was who was at Walther and, and is a very very good friend right. of mine. And, you know, we talked about, like, what, what my goals are in life. I want everybody to own a freaking gun. Sure. Right? Yeah. And, and I think that's what these brands really do. So looking at it from, like, personal goal-wise, like, what Taurus and Rossi and Heritage, like, bring to the table. Right. And to my background, right? We're, we're from East Texas. Sure. Like, I got a little bit of that Heritage six-shooter in me. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was something I was pretty excited about, uh, joining this team and, and kind of getting to know everybody over here and the, the amount of shooters that actually participate with the brand and stuff. Is, right, yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Man. Well, as uh, as always, we'll get you on the podcast. This time to talk about Taurus and Rossi and, yeah, right, and Heritage. Exactly. And uh, he's uh, he's going to get into FUD guns. We know, we know it's coming. I have the accent for it, right? You do, I absolutely. Do. So. I'm there, so. Thanks for uh, thanks for jumping it, in for yeah, appreciate no, no, it. No problem. All right, crew, let's get after it. It's Chris with Clover Tech. Get in here, Jake. Jake with State Farm has the uh, Rossi Pump 22. Rossi known for Pump 22s. Fed Pump 22s for a long time, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, you know, and this one here is newer for the year. It's called the Gallery or the Gallery Gun. It's a 22 long rifle. It's a heck of a lot of fun. It's lightweight. Uh, here we have, this one's in a, a black synthetic furniture, but mm -hmm. we also have it in a wood finish for people who like the traditional look. Right, right. That was all tactical. That seems to be the thing nowadays, so. Yeah, well, what's different between our wood version and then uh, the, the black synthetic version here is the actual fiber optic the sight system. So we have a fiber optic sight on here, which is a red in front. It's got a dual sight, or an adjustable rear sight. So really dialing it in when you're planking. Uh, depending on how you hold, you know, the cheek rest and stuff on, on sure. the way you're shooting, it's great. It's a right. lot of fun. And uh, uh, tube magazine, pretty pretty standard. Yeah, just reloading it. It's pretty simple. Holds 15 rounds. Easy to operate. Uh, great for introducing new shooters to the sport. No, absolutely. Uh, yeah. One, it's a little bit more than pulling a semi-auto because you got a little bit of action, so they get to do something while they're on the range. Right. And it also gets some back acquiring a target quicker. So a lot of fundamentals are learned off of a, a simple gun like this. It's low recoil pretty inexpensive to shoot with the 22 long rifle. Right, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Exactly, awesome. Well, I think we uh, need to put a few down range. What do you think? Let's uh, let's uh, make yeah. that happen. Let's do that. All right, here we are, the little Rossi 22 loaded up. I was told safety has to come off in order to pump it for the first time. And we gotta push this little latch right here. Pretty short stroke on that first pump. We shouldn't have to hit that little latch on the subsequent shots. So let's put some down range. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's cool. Something didn't happen. I may have short stroked it. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, if you notice there, <laughs> the hammer was not cocking back when I pumped it, and I figured out the reason, but I still messed it up. You can't have that trigger back. If you hold that trigger back and pump it, the hammer falls forward again. So it follows basically the bolt forward. So 
yeah, if you're out there and you're shooting one of these, just pay attention to that. Uh, Got to let off that trigger before you pump it. But other than that, pretty cool little 22 for sure. Uh, hey, if you're looking for more stuff from the gathering i probably got a few of those videos locked and loaded for you right over here as for this one we're done so thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and until next time don't forget to change fire freedom